So for today's little trip out, we have come here to see houses on the Northumberland coast. It's about three or four miles up from Bamburgh. So we're gonna have a look around here. There's a harbour, there's boat trips out to Farn Island. And we're gonna have a look around here in sea houses today. We're gonna to try and get the drone up as well. The weather's quite nice. It's nowhere near as windy as it has been the last couple of days. Thought it was gonna be really cold actually. There was a frost on the car this morning, but we've come here, the sun's out, it's quite warm. It's gonna be a nice day. So come and join us in sea houses. So you've got all the boat tours here to Farn Island. I don't think you can see puffins at the minute, but you can see seals, I think you can. So there's quite a few boat trips through the day. Not sure if I quite fancy going on a boat though. It's a bit choppy to see, but uh, we'll have a little think about it. Now if you could actually smell this video, you would get a lovely waft of donuts and they do smell rather nice. And that is the Harbour Kitchen. Lovely. Now this is the harbour where you get onto the boats for the trip. There's a lot of boats knocking around, which is good. And if we time it right, we might get to see one take off. Now what I think we're gonna do is walk down to the bottom of this little pier and then we're gonna get the drone up from down there and we should get a really good view of the harbour and the sea. And we might, if we're lucky, get to see a couple of boats coming in and out, which would be really good, wouldn't it? So I think that's gonna be our next port of call. We'll stop at the bottom here, this little lighthouse. So we're gonna sit around there and we're gonna take the drone up and see what we find. So that there looks like it's the lighthouse. A lot of birds on the top there, aren't there? And this is where the boats come in and out along here. Yeah, that's not a passenger boat, that. Looks like a fishing boat, doesn't it? So finally managed to get the drone up. I think we've got some good footage there of the harbour, of sea houses, uh, town, and a few other bits and pieces as well. Some great footage there. I didn't want to go too far out to sea just in case uh, we lost the drone, but um, we certainly got some better flights in today. The weather's so much calmer. 
So what we might do is on the way back is uh, pop into Bamburgh and just go back over to Castle because it might be better weather to get that in as well. So we'll see. But yeah, that was some good footage there, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. So there's a lot of boats here. Probably in the summer when it's busy, these are probably out all the time, but I suppose this time of year they just only use maybe one or two through the day. They're nice though, aren't they? Yeah. These are definitely the ones that you take people out in. They're not the fishing boats. No, these are the passenger ones, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So there's a bit of a statue here. It says there, the rescue presented to the parish of North Sunderland and Sea Houses by Country Life Homes and Seafield Caravan Park. And there he is up there. And of course he's come over there from the RNLI building just over there. Seafield Park this is. There's some crazy gold through there. There's a children's soft play area there called the Bunker. There you go. Farm gift shop. Might go in there and get uh, a fridge magnet or two. So this is what we saw from the drone is actually another war memorial. We do love a good war memorial, don't we? This one commemorates the people of North Sunderland who died in the First World War. It says at the bottom there, this I have done for you. And we appreciate it. And that's quite interesting, isn't it? It looks like it used to be a pub. And now you've got a gift shop in the middle. You've got a coffee bar over there and a kebab place there. So this is the main high street in Sea Houses. It's not the biggest, is it? There's not an awful lot here, but it's got everything that you need. There's takeaways, there's a co-op supermarket, and there is a million and one fish and chip shops. And also as well, there's a nice church. And of course, no trip to the seaside is complete without a trip into the amusements. Look at this. This is what it's all about, isn't it? And if you're lucky, you can win a Mario, Super Mario. And just on the corner there is the famous Neptune fish and chip shop, which apparently is supposed to be one of the best in the world, or certainly in the country. So it's just here in Sea Houses, and it's worth a visit if you like fish and chips, of course. I mean, here is a resting place for ice cream vans. Look at that. Just having a little sleep, I think, before the night shift. So, that was today's little trip out to Sea Houses. Um, nice little place, uh, beautiful weather, actually. Uh, we saw some of the boats go off on their trips down to Farn Island, which was good. And we got some good drone footage for you as well. And there will be an extra bonus video coming of Bamburgh Castle. I managed to go back there on the way back and get some really, really good drone footage of that. So that's going to come up on a separate video because I think it deserves a video all of its own. But this has been our trip today to Sea Houses. Our last full day here. Um, I think we've made the most of our time here. Um, we're going back home in the morning, so um, we may squeeze another trip in this afternoon, maybe later on, if we get time, and we may squeeze one more video in, but otherwise, um, I hope you've enjoyed our time down here with us. If you have, please give this video a like. Please consider subscribing to the channel as well. I'll be back very soon with some more great stuff for you. Don't forget to check out the, the drone footage of Bamburgh Castle on a separate video because that is quite spectacular. So um, thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for coming with us to 
Northumberland and I will catch you on that next one.